Hi everyone, this time of year it is super hard not to keep talking about fragrance oils, particularly ones about fall, winter, holidays. This is the number one time of year. Well, the second half of the year is really the best time of year for candle makers, but when we really approach those later months and we come into fall and winter, it is our glory time as not just candle makers, but any really hand crafter because of holidays, right? Gifts and seasonal uh, type of items, but for candles, People just love candles uh, later in the year. And because of that, I could not resist the opportunity to review some more seasonal fall and winter fragrance oils for all of you here on the channel. So we've done a few of these already from some other candle suppliers. And believe it or not, this is actually sounds strange for me, but this is the first time I've really specifically reviewed fragrance oils from Nature's Garden. And we'll get to the reason for that here in just a minute. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to this channel, my name is Wade. I'm the owner of Black Tie Barn. If you are interested in any other candle making, handcrafted, running a business, and more type of content, I would encourage you to please subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you all enjoy the wide array of topics we do discuss on this channel. Let's go ahead and dive a little bit more into today's video. So I mentioned that surprisingly, this is the first time I've ever reviewed fragrance oils specifically for Nature's Garden. Now, for those of you that have been around for a while and seen a lot of my other videos, I have mentioned several other fragrances from Nature's Garden in some of my candle making videos. I've got a tutorial video. Um, I've talked about some other fall and winter scents that sell well for me. So there, some of their oils have come up for me in other videos without question. But I've never just dedicated an entire video to reviewing some of their fragrance oils. And there's actually a funny reason why. <laughs> so it turns out Nature's Garden had reached out to me quite a long time ago. Uh, well, not that long ago, but shortly after I started the channel. Uh, they'd been watching the videos for quite some time. They reached out to me and uh, they never heard back from me. And I guess that's my bad because I don't recall ever getting an email from them. So I have a few different email accounts. So anyways, uh, I did talk with them and they were like, yeah, we we, we wanna send you some uh, fall and winter fragrances for review on the channel. Um, and they actually sent me some other products as well. So we're gonna be reviewing some other things as well. I did recently review one of their candle kits, uh, but I'm gonna review a wax melt kit. I've got some new dyes that we're gonna be reviewing as well. But they, uh, they had mentioned that, uh, yeah, they tried to email me, but it was at a different email than the one that we were talking about during this conversation. Anyways, it turns out that their email either never made it to me or I like deleted it on accident. I'm not, I'm not sure, but either way, I missed their email entirely. So I guess they thought I didn't really wanna work with them, which is not true because I, of course, am willing to review any products that I think you viewers and you other candle makers might find helpful. So with all that being said, you all know that I like Nature's Garden. They know I like Nature's Garden. I've used a lot of their products. I, I use a lot of their products to date. Um, and in fact, some of my best selling fragrances, some of my best selling candles, period, are from Nature's Garden fragrances. But this video is specifically on eight different fragrance oils that they sent me uh, seasonal. They have a lot. So I, they really could have pulled any eight fragrances they wanted. Um, and this is just a random eight of fall and winter. So anyways, I could do a dozen videos just to cover their fall and winter fragrances, but we're gonna start with these eight. The eight we're gonna be talking about today are iced cinnamon rolls, pumpkin crunch cake, autumn magic, fresh fallen leaves, peppermint, Christmas splendor, Christmas memories, and hot baked apple pie. Really broke these into four fall, four winter. Hot baked apple pie could have been fall or winter. Same thing with iced cinnamon rolls. So I just put one of them in each one of those categories just for an even number because I'm OCD. Now, as you've probably already noticed, I'm going to be running some other footage of some of the behind the scenes of actually making these test candles with these fragrances. I want you all to know that I do full test of these uh, in, in practice, in actual products, so that uh, I can give you real feedback and real results. Sometimes I break these videos up into kind of initial reviews and then after I test them type of reviews. Um, it just depends on the timing of everything, but in this case, I was able to do it all together. So hopefully you guys enjoy the footage of me uh, you know, kind of showing behind the scenes of how I create these test candles, the labeling, um, how I use a different wick in each one, uh, just to, I guess it's a good opportunity to test wicks while you're also testing fragrances as well. I also use different colors to make it easier to distinguish between one another. Um, plus it's just more fun. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Most of you, when I do fragrance reviews, really just care about how I thought they performed and my overall, I guess, sense of the sense, <laughs> like what, what I thought about the note profiles, how it smelled, the, uh, the general aroma that it's giving off. Um, so we're not gonna go into too many of the actual details, like note profiles and all the specs and everything like that. So I will have the links to these products in the description. You could definitely go to the website and check them out. They provide a lot of details, recommended colors, 
uh, maximum usage, flash points, all of that. Okay, so we're gonna start off with iced cinnamon rolls. Guys, let me tell you, without question, 100% hands down, this is the best cinnamon roll fragrance oil I have ever used to date. I had not used this fragrance oil from them before. In fact, none of the eight that we're doing today I've ever used before. I have used several cinnamon roll fragrances, however, and none of them have compared to this one, in my opinion. I actually like the combination of the different fragrances in it. Like you can definitely smell the cinnamon roll. You can smell a little bit of that buttery icing. This is the best all around cinnamon roll fragrance I have used to date. I thought that when I smelled it out of the bottle. When I opened that bottle up, I thought, holy cow, this is perfect. And then sometimes you get disappointed whenever you test them in product, which is why it's always good to test them in your actual product as well. However, I am delighted to say that it was just as good, if not better, when I actually tested it. The notes were true. It smelled exactly like ice cinnamon rolls. It is so good and it performed amazing. I've never had an ice cinnamon rolls this good. It is amazing. It is amazing. If you are looking for an ice cinnamon rolls to add to your line, I would highly encourage you to check this one out. I mean, it is so good. It's it's hard to explain. It's it's awesome. It literally smells like your face is in a cinnamon roll. I mean, it's it is awesome. Okay, moving on. This one is called Autumn Magic. And this one has a lot of the standard traditional fall notes you would expect. It's got some lemon, it's got some apple, floral like mums. It has a little bit of ginger, a little bit of cinnamon. It's got a little bit of vanilla and uh, some undertones of woods and musk. And so it is a good all around fall fragrance. What I particularly smell the most personally is some of the lemon and floral a little bit. Um, and I actually detect a little orange. I pick up a little orange, but I don't know if there's actually orange in the fragrance. So it might be the combination of the apple and the lemon and just everything else working together. Like I said, it has some ginger in it too. So out of the bottle, I actually love this one. Like I said, a very true fall fragrance. If I were to say, imagine, try to smell fall, what does fall smell like? I mean, that's pretty good. It's, it's pretty accurate to what fall actually smells like. But this one didn't, I didn't get the same notes, the same feeling once it was burning in product. Now, it may need a little bit more time to cure, but the hot throw was only okay on this one, and that might have been why. I think if the hot throw was better for me, then I might have picked up some of those notes a little bit better. But keep in mind, I'm not trying to make perfect candles here. Like I mentioned in all these review videos, I'm just trying to get a good idea of how this fragrance performs. I obviously would need to spend a lot more time being able to thoroughly go through the testing process um, to, be, to be given any definitive results. So all in all, this one uh, is probably my third favorite of the four falls that we're gonna talk about. With a little bit more testing, I might have a, some different perspective, but as of right now, it's just okay for me. It was, it was a pretty good fall fragrance. All right, next up is pumpkin crunch cake. Now this one was pretty interesting for me as well. This is sort of like ice cinnamon rolls. It's that bakery scent, there's definitely some cinnamon, it has that dessert type feeling and fragrance to it, and it was pretty good. Also the hot throw on this one was excellent as well. I didn't really have any particular issues with this one. To me, it sort of reminds me of um, like a pumpkin souffle or a, like a baked pumpkin fragrance combined with like a cinnamon roll fragrance. I think that's the best way I can describe it. And it's pretty good. I'm not a huge bakery fragrance, which is why when I tell you that the ice cinnamon rolls is like amazing, that you should take me seriously because it is. This one is also pretty good. It's just not necessarily my go-to type of fragrance. It's not something I'm generally looking for. I feel like I already have so many cinnamon and pumpkins and pumpkin pie and pumpkin crunch and pumpkin caramel crunch. And I mean, it's pumpkin everything around fall. And so I can only take so much of it before I lose my mind. But it is good and it is a uh, original blend by Nature's Garden. So it's something they, they spec'd out and uh, designed themselves. Um, it has great reviews. So I think most people are really gonna like this. Like I said, I did too. I just have so many similar fragrances. So it's nothing I'm just going to uh, you know, automatically want to add to my line. I would take a lot more testing to decide is this better or worse than other ones that I have that are similar. But all around, it is a really good fragrance. All right, next up is Fresh Fallen Leaves. All right, so I gotta be honest. On this one, this was by far my least favorite of the fall fragrances. And the biggest reason for me is I don't, it doesn't smell like fall to me at all. To me, this smells like more of a bathroom fragrance. Like it smells like a body wash or a bar of soap or uh, I, I don't know, something that should be in the bathroom. And I don't 
think of fallen leaves. I don't think of anything outdoors. I just certainly don't think of fall. Now that is personal opinion. I could be way wrong. I, I just don't pick up fall. Like I would have never thought fall. In fact, if I hadn't seen the label of fresh fallen leaves on it, I would have swore this was a bath product. I mean, that's exactly what it smells like. The reviews on Nature's Garden are about four out of five stars, whereas some of these others have been five stars or four and a half. So I'm, I'm thinking that a few people are probably thinking the same thing as me. I haven't gone through the reviews, to be honest. You guys can do that if you want, but I just don't feel like this is a fall fragrance. Now, there are a lot of different leaves and fallen leaves type fragrances from different suppliers. I have tried several of them. Honestly, I have never found one that I really, really like a lot, to be perfectly honest. I'm still looking for that Great Leaps fragrance. In fact, I've, I am pretty sure I'm going to have to end up kind of combining oils to really find the one that hits the spot for me. Unfortunately, this one doesn't hit that spot for me. While it, the fragrance itself is fine, I just I can't rate it too high because it's sold as a fall fragrance. And to me, I just don't pick up fall. That's my opinion. You guys might have a different perspective on that. And it also didn't have great hot throw for me. That could have just been my experience in my testing. That's really obviously going to highly depend on your wax type and your wick. But for me, it was just okay. So by far, the two top fragrances for me from the fall line were the ice cinnamon rolls and the pumpkin crunch cake. Ice cinnamon rolls definitely is the king of the mountain for me when it comes to those four fragrances so far. But we have four more, and those are our winter fragrances. We're going to start with peppermint. I'm a firm believer that you got to have a peppermint fragrance in your candle line or a fragrance oil that has some peppermint in it, especially for winter. One, a lot of people just like peppermint anyways, but around winter and you're talking about candy canes and stuff, I just feel like peppermint is a great fragrance that should be incorporated in some fragrance oil in some way. It doesn't have to be all peppermint, but I think you should have a little bit. In this case, this is just peppermint. I mean, this is straight peppermint. If you shoved a candy cane up your nose, this is what you'd smell. So, what did I think about it overall? It smells like peppermint. Shocking. But I didn't get superb hot throw yet from it. And I have found this to be the case with all peppermints. And I find that really, really strange because peppermint is such a potent, strong fragrance that you feel like it would be overpowering. Like you're almost nervous it's going to be too strong. But almost every peppermint fragrance I've ever used in the past, the hot throw is more faint than I'm expecting. And maybe it's because I'm expecting more, but it just was kind of, eh, it was just kind of faint. And that might be good because like I said, you don't want too much peppermint or your eyes start burning. So maybe that's intentional and you don't want it. You want it to be kind of a soft peppermint. So I wouldn't necessarily say that's a con. That might be a, a, a benefit of this peppermint. Uh, but for me, it was just okay hot throw, maybe even a little below average so far in my testing though. Again, I could be testing for months before I have definitive results, but my early results indicate it's sort of a light fragrance. Uh, as far as the fragrance itself, it's peppermint. I mean, what can you say? It's peppermint. Next up, we're going to, yeah, no, you know what? I'm going to rearrange these. Hold on. I did a little rearranging because the next one is actually going to be my favorite one. And I, I moved that to the end. So the next one is called Christmas Splendor. You know, I struggled with this one because I have fragrances that are very similar like it already. It has your traditional woodsy, like balsam fir type fragrance, but it's also mixed with some fruit and a little bit of cinnamon and, and uh, clove. And so it has that general like Christmas hearth or Christmas wreath or even like a spicy Christmas punch type fragrance. Uh, it's a very popular fragrance and a lot of people like it. And I actually do too. I mean, it smells really, really good, but I didn't get the greatest hot throw. Like normally the fragrance like this, the hot throw is incredible. And it wasn't for me, maybe with some more testing it would have been, but for me it was just okay. It wasn't like weak or anything, but it was just okay. That mostly has to do with your wax and your wicks and even your jar size. So I don't want to talk about it too much. It would take a lot more testing and some other benefits that the other ones are not giving me to move to this one. So that's just for me. You guys might love this. In fact, the reviews for this on Nature's Garden are really, really good. It says it's one of their best sellers. And they actually mentioned that it, it sells uh, really well all year round because it has kind of that country, spiced country um, fragrance. It, it has a little bit of a cider type fragrance to it. So it is good. It's just not necessarily one of my favorites of these winter scents this go round. All right, so the next one on the list is Hot Baked Apple Pie. And I mentioned that this could have went in fall or winter. Uh, I went ahead and just threw it in winter because I already had, well, I wanted it even number. <laughs> so. If you're looking for any holiday or fall or winter type fragrance, this would fit the bill for both. And there's some real benefits to using fragrances that work well in multiple seasons because they just continue to sell throughout the year, which is always a nice little benefit. I've gone back and forth on this one. Out of the bottle, it smells like hot baked apple pie. 
When it's burning, I don't get that quite as much. I pick up some of the apple, of course. I do pick up some of the bakery type fragrance as well, but it doesn't, when it comes together, it doesn't smell as much like an apple pie to me as it does out of the bottle, which is actually kind of unusual. Normally you, you get a better balanced fragrance in the air. And when you smell out of the bottle, you get something very kind of one of the top notes only. So I was a little, so I was a little surprised by that result, but it is a really good fragrance. I am so partial to apple. I love almost every apple fragrance, which is why I have a few and I'm adding more uh, coming soon. But I have like a couple spiced apples and cider apples and, and apple harvest type fragrances that work really well for me. And I just love them so much. And this is very similar to those. So I don't know that I would necessarily switch to this because I already have some similar. But anyone that doesn't already have a fragrance like this, certainly check this one out. It smells so good. And by the way, this one also gets excellent reviews uh, from other Nature's Garden customers. So I, I think we're on the same page that it is a good fragrance. The hot throw was totally fine as well on this one. And like I said, it just smells really good. I would say this smells more fall now that like once I used it and tested, I think it smells more fall, but I would sell this year round. Okay, now we're gonna get to my favorite of the winter fragrances. Now this one's called Christmas Memories. There's nothing that's like incredibly unique or special about this fragrance. Like it smells like a lot of your standard evergreens and pines and firs and those type of fragrances, but it performs so good for me. And it, it had like, okay, so I've got a mistletoe type fragrance and it smells a lot like that. It reminds me of that, which is pretty much just like a pine fragrance. And this one is very close to that, but with just a little bit something extra. There's a little bit of a bite to it. And that could be uh, some of the cinnamon and clove maybe, but it actually says there's a touch of cranberry in it as well. Now I don't detect cranberry like right off the bat. I don't, I don't feel like I'm smelling cranberry, but I think it's the combination of the cranberry and the orange peel and the cinnamon and the clove with the pine cones and with the evergreen that is making that little extra something that I'm having a hard time describing. Because this is not your basic pine and evergreen. Like I said, there's something else a little bit more interesting there, but it also performed so good for me. The hot throw on this was incredible. I was able to wick it fairly easily. So it didn't seem like it was too light or too heavy of an oil. It just overall performed really, really good for me. I might actually be switching to this one to replace one of my evergreen, like either my Fraser fir or my mistletoe type scents because it just did so good right out of the gate for me. I still need to do more testing with it, of course, but it just performed really, really good for me. So as a real quick recap, I tested eight fragrance oils. By far, my two favorite, one from fall and one from winter, was the ice cinnamon rolls and the Christmas memories. Uh, hands down, those were my two favorite. There were also a couple other good contenders, and then there were a couple from each side that I didn't really particularly like that much as well, but that's pretty common fragrance oils. That is why we sample so many of them, because we all have different personal preferences, personal tastes, um, and they also perform a little bit differently in our different applications. And when I do reviews, I do like to remind everyone that most of fragrance oil reviews is opinion based. There's like, there's no, you know, these aren't based on facts. This is just what I thought about these fragrance oils. So you may totally disagree with me on some of these. You may love some of the ones I didn't like and vice versa, but these are my thoughts on the fragrance oils. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Nature's Garden. They're a wonderful company. They have great customer support. They have great pricing on their products. Um, I mostly use their fragrance oils, but I have bought other products from them as well. Like I said, I'm going to be doing reviews on some of their new eco-friendly uh, nature dyes coming soon as well. So stay tuned for that one if you guys are interested in checking it out. One note I want to mention about uh, Nature's Garden. They sell their fragrance oils by fluid ounces because I think they started mostly making uh, products for soap makers. And in, when you're making soap, most of that is based on volume rather than weight, although there are exceptions to that as well. Um, but anyways, all of their fragrance oils are sold in bottles by fluid ounces. So 16 fluid ounce bottles. These are eight fluid ounce bottles. Why is that important? Because in candle making, most people are using uh, weight for their measurements. So ounces rather than fluid ounces. So whenever you get your product, always still weigh them, but just know that the fluid ounces is different than net weight ounces. So these actually could end up being less or more than you think just because of that conversion. But I mentioned good customer service and here's an example of that. 
just email their support, let them know which fragrance oils you just bought, list them out, and they will tell you uh, the conversion to weight for you. So if you tell them that you bought a 16 ounce bottle of pumpkin crunch cake, what does that equal in weight? They will tell you, oh yeah, sure, that equals 16.8 ounces in weight. Um, which is actually nice because the majority of them, I actually get more in weight than I do in fluid ounces. But of course there are some that are less too. I bought some that were 16 fluid ounces and when I weighed them, they're only 15.7 for example. And so if you are concerned about that, just email them and they will tell you uh, how much fragrance oil you're getting by weight if you ask them. So it's no big deal. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you Nature's Garden for sending me these products to review. In fact, thank you for the other products as well. And I will get to them as soon as I can. Thank you all for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out to support the channel and I will see you all next time.